Hey guys, welcome to Unacademy uh, and let's crack Neat PG, the YouTube channel for Unacademy, our Neat PG division. So, where the goal is to get you the top educators, quality content, and to give you a great learning experience. My name is Chatanya Mittal. I am currently pursuing my MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. So, I hope you've already downloaded the Unacademy Learning app. And if you haven't, just go to the Play Store and install. You will need an invite code to access all the free content. And that invite code that you can use to access free content is uh, my name, that is Chatanya. Uh, C H E T A N Y A, and you can add 10 after that, right? I'll tell you why this 10 is there. It is because if you purchase a plan, then this code will also give you a discount. So, this code is your solution to buying any subscription on Unacademy or unlocking the free plan. So, as you know, we have the top educators teaching live with us on Unacademy, and educators they are making plus courses for you guys on Unacademy. So, what is a plus course? Plus courses are basically these blocked courses which are available to the subscription but then why am i asking you to download the unacademy learning app because just like on youtube we are making free content for you similarly on the unacademy platform itself we are providing free of cost content and these special classes are absolutely free of cost so take maximum advantage of these special classes and as you can see here that unacademy uh, has live batch courses and not only are these live you can also access the recorded content once the class is over so some students told us that they wanted to ask their doubts. So we have introduced an ask a doubt feature. So your doubt clearing problems are also solved. And for testing, we have special tests. We have weekly tests and regular. We are conducting mock tests. Unacademy has a 34,000 plus question bank. And that question bank is being utilized to test your preparation, right? So Unacademy is now a one-stop solution for all your need PG preparation needs. So you can see what are the upcoming batches or what are the latest batches. Uh, the new list will also be there on the application. So we've started batches on the 1st of March and we have batches for FMGE, NEET PG and INI CET. Besides that, you can take advantage of the free tests which are taken on the application. Okay. So I assure you, Unacademy will provide you flexibility in terms of not only your schedule, not only in terms of your language, but also how many times you can practice, right? Besides that, with online education, it has become slightly difficult to interact with educators. But Unacademy, we have a very robust platform for chatting. So you can chat with the educators. It will feel like you're right in the classroom. And there is an option for interactive polls, just like a teacher asks questions in the class. So we can that can be done in our online classes as well. So you can take the you can take all the benefits of Unacademy if you take an Unacademy Plus subscription where you are given all the live experience, the live classes, the live tests, the doubt clearing, the batch courses, the testing, the structured schedule, right? And there is another subscription called as the iconic subscription where you not only get the benefits of Unacademy, but also Prep Ladder because we have recently acquired Prep Ladder. Prep Ladder has some of the top faculty uh, teaching for uh, various subjects and you have video lectures, you have question banks, you have revision courses and you have the handwritten notes. And these notes will be especially useful for revision. If you buy them separately, they will cost you 7,000 rupees. Here, they're all included in the plan. The one-year plan will cost you 49,500. And there's a two-year, there's an option to get a two-year plan. And that will cost you 69,300. All you have to do is use a referral code that is Chatanya 10. It's a discount code that will give you an additional 10% discount, right? So please use this code while buying an Iconic or a Plus subscription. The Plus subscription will cost you 25,000 and 36,000 respectively, right? So this is how you can apply the referral code. You just go to, uh, on the Android phone, you go to the purchase option and this is where you have the option to apply a referral code and this is where you can also apply credits, right? So that is about the pricing of the Unacademy subscription. Now let's move on to today's topic, right? So I hope you've understood everything about the subscription and if there are any details, you can always inquire, right? So in this particular video, we're going to be talking about something called as the J receptors. Now, what are J receptors? First of all, to understand that we have to understand that why they are important. First of all, J receptors, they are a previous year question in your AIMS entrance examination. Now let's try and understand why it's a previous year question and why it's important. So can you recognize the man in the image? Can you recognize the uh, physiologist or the scientist in the image? I'm pretty sure you would not be able to recognize him. You probably think that this is just some random face because this is a very common, typical old uncle face, right? So this is basically a physiologist called as A.S. Pental, right? Otar Singh Pental. So we'll just talk about him here. Um, yes. 
So the name of the scientist here, I'll just write it under the photo also. The name of the scientist here is Authar Singh Painter, right? That is AS Painter. No need to remember the full name. Just, just uh, you can remember the word painter. You will, it will come to your head, right? So the person, this, this, this physiologist, he is one of the first physiologists to uh, have a very significant uh, finding here, right? And his great, great contribution. Why the, the reason why uh, he's been asked is that he was actually a member of the. He joined AIMS uh, when he returned to India in around 1956. He was one of the first few people to be part of the physiology department at AIMS. So that's why it's a very frequent question in AIMS. And as an internal source, I can tell you that they love asking about J receptors, right? So J receptors, they are going to mediate something called as the J reflexes, right? So they mediate a reflex and that is called as J reflex. So we'll just talk about what are J reflexes. And besides the fact that they mediate J reflexes, they were discovered by Ace Pantel. And now, one important thing, why are they called as J receptors? Obviously, this J here does not stand for jealousy. The J here stands for juxtapulmonary capillary receptors. What does this mean? Juxta means adjacent and pulmonary capillary, right? So, juxtapulmonary capillary receptors. J receptors stand for juxtapulmonary capillary receptor right so whenever you talk about any receptors or you talk about reflexes you have to talk about the innovation the stimuli and the effects so first let's talk about the innovation they are innovated by unmyelinated afferent vagal fibers right so they are innovated by unmyelinated afferent vagal fibers and for this class i have already written a few of the notes so that you guys uh, don't have to waste your time while i write and you guys can directly um, sort of take uh, screenshots or I can also send the PDF on my telegram channel and you guys can follow it from there right now I told you about the innovation already the second thing that we must talk about is what is the stimulus what what actually stimulates the J receptors right so the stimulus for J receptors uh, so you all understand that it is a research finding right so there must be some natural stimulus in the body and then there are some artificial stimuli also so naturally, the first natural stimulus is actually pulmonary congestion. We'll talk about it in detail. But whenever there is congestion of the lungs, or this pulmonary congestion in terms of a fluid overload, that is the natural stimulus for J receptors. Now, artificial stimulus, how do you provide that? So to, to, to mimic pulmonary congestion, what you do, you can either infuse halothane in the lungs or you do an infusion of phenyl digunite, uh, digunite and you do this in the right atrium or the right ventricle because then that is communicated to the lungs, right? Then that is communicated to the lungs because that, that, that's part of the pulmonary circulation, right? So phenyl diagonity is communicated to the right atrium or the right ventricle. It's infused there. And then this will stimulate the this will stimulate the juxta pulmonary capillary receptors. And this stimulation is much stronger than the normal physiological stimulation, right? So what happens actually is the, the mechanism is that if there is pulmonary congestion, uh, congestion is there, so there are a lot of uh, fluid, right? So the interstitial fluid volume, because the uh, capillaries, the fluid starts to move out. So the interstitial fluid volume, the ECF outside the capillaries, that increases. And outside in the interstitial space, you have collagen. So it is said that the collagen, it soaks water like a sponge. And then that collagen, it actually stimulates the J receptors, right? So this is the hypothesized mechanism of how J receptors work. But that is not important. What is important is I want you to remember this triad of responses, right? I want you to remember responses. So for now, don't don't think about this uh, apnea. Just think about these three things. Tachypnea, hypotension, and bradycardia. So what it does is it causes the breathing to become rapid and shallow. It causes the breathing to become rapid and shallow. It will cause hypotension, that is, it will make you dizzy, it will make you fall, and it will slow down your heart rate, so you won't be able to do much work. So it's overall causing an uneasy or an irritating feeling, right? And in case of very heavy stimulation, as will happen with artificial stimulation, if you give phenyl digonide to the right ventricle, there's going to be apnea, the person will stop breathing. So that's, that's an extreme manifestation, but generally there is tachypnea, that is rapid and shallow breathing, right? Another thing that has been seen experimentally, this was seen mainly in cats, there is going to be inhibition of the stretch reflexes, right? So stretch reflexes in the flexor and in the extensor muscles of especially the hind limb, especially the hind limb. No need to remember in so much detail, but just remember that there will be inhibition of the stretch reflex in the hind limbs. 
so now once we've understood what happens so this these were all the observations right so they did they did an experiment they observed this happens this happens that happens so now as physiologists we try to explain why this happens what is the role of this in the body right so why is this important in your body so if you try and understand the physiological role the actual physiological role is to discourage exercise right it is actually going to discourage exercise for an individual why will it discourage exercise can anybody tell me why will it discourage exercise so see what happens you go to high altitudes let's say you go to let's say you go to uh, shimla right and or let's let's even go higher let's go to so for those of you who are not from india uh, in the himalayas uh, there's a there's a mountain range so there's a place called kashmir it's at a very high altitude right so let's say you go at high altitudes and there you start doing heavy exercises right you start doing heavy exercise so your body does not want you to do heavy exercise there because your body is getting tired so how does that body stimulate that message uh, communicate that message to you because in that case there will be pulmonary congestion so your body does not want this pulmonary congestion to turn into edema because if pulmonary congestion persists and you keep exercising this will turn into edema so your body has to give an unpleasant response so your body has to give you an unpleasant response that this is not good for me you must immediately stop this so there will be an unpleasant response and that unpleasant response will be mediated by j reflex or through the j receptors and that will cause what this triad that i've told you about tachypnea hypotension right bradycardia and one more thing that i told you that there will be inhibition of stretch reflex so if you're doing exercise you're using muscles but without the stretch reflex you will not be able to carry out muscular activity so there will be discouraging of exercise you will not be able to exercise so the physiological role for j receptors is to discourage exercise right so if you quickly summarize the video if you quickly summarize the video let's start from this photo right here so if this is comes as an image based question this person is as painter and he was responsible for the discovery of responsible for the discovery of j receptors which were a previous year question in the aims examination the reason they love asking that is because he was a physiologist at aims they mediate j reflexes what is the full form juxta pulmonary capillary receptors they are innervated by unmyelinated vagal fibers the natural stimulus is pulmonary congestion and then there are some artificial stimuli the reason is that uh, when the exchange fluid volume increases the j receptors get stimulated the response naturally is tachypnea hypotension bradycardia and inhibition of stretch reflexes but if the response is very severe or if there is a very severe stimulation as in artificial stimulation then there might be complete stoppage of breathing that is called as apnea right and the physiological role is to discourage exercise how is exercise discouraged because you're not able to breathe you're you're having low bp your heart rate is slow and uh, the stretch reflexes also get inhibited right so that was a summary of j receptors right and that brings us towards the end of this particular video so that's it so with that note let's end today's class and uh, i just want to inform you that thank you so much first of all for watching the video and all the very best for your examination and if you like the video do remember to hit the like button and your likes are an appreciation that i would really really like to see and do subscribe to our channel let's crack neat pg where we have faculty teaching for all subjects almost and uh, we are adding new subjects we are adding new faculty and we are constantly making content for you guys uh, that is free of cost and you can also subscribe to our telegram channels the link for the telegram channels you will find in the description t.me/letscrackneatpg right and i have uh, another unacademy telegram channel that is at the rate unacademy at the rate unacademy neat pg chetanya right so you can subscribe to these telegram channels to stay updated about the various classes and do remember to hit the bell icon to receive notifications about which educator is going live when if you like the video a lot you can also drop a comment and uh, about the referral codes there is one referral code that is chetanya 10 or also you can use my special class referral code that is spcm a slightly shorter one right spcm and using these referral codes you will be eligible to unlock free plans on the unacademy platform you will be able to unlock all the free content for neat pg and you can also purchase a subscription and you will get a 10% off on your purchase so thank you so much for watching take care